Hey, how are you guys doing, man? So, this is where I usually relax when I'm having a tough month or a tough day or a bad day. So, please forgive me with the noise. You see, this, I'm, I'm just, just by the beach. You can see, I'm just by the beach. I'm relaxing and just having thoughts of life. You know, after this tough month, uh, a lot of things happened, you know. A lot of, uh, complaints and criticism and stuff you know and actually blaming myself having self-doubts even after so long being in this game I still have doubts you know I still have those time where I actually <coughs> feel like giving up and stuff feel uh, asking myself is this for me and stuff you know because I'm I'm also human as well you know it gets me after having this a very very emotional month where it was just strictly losses and stuff you know so you know I understand I understand and I understand the people that uh, question you as a as a trader and people who actually join your mentorship and then when they enter your group unfortunately it's, it's just a bad month things are not going well and they are experiencing losses and stuff you know I understand I understand you know, I've been here so, like, at this beach, guys, let me show you. <coughs> I've been here for, like, there's no place that knows me when I'm at my lowest, when I'm at the beach. I've been here at my darkest moment and at my lowest moment ever, where I felt like, you know what, I, I should end it all and stuff. You know, where everything was just going west. So I understand times like this. Tough times. Tough times like this are, are, the, are, the, are actually the time that actually build character and actually shows that you are really meant for this, you know? So this is where I relax, guys. This is where I relax. This is where I meditate. As I was saying, I just wanted to talk uh, one of the challenges that I face, you know, uh, I've been talking about like the the, the forest way changes our group, you know. One of the biggest challenges is that a lot of people expect me to have set up for every day, man, you know. Set up for every day, guys, it's really impossible to actually make money when you have, when you actually have set up every day, it's impossible. It's unhealthy to trade every day, guys. It's really, really unhealthy for your mental health. It's unhealthy for you individually. It's just healthy. It's unhealthy in so many levels. So, the reason why I quit said I quit said binary option was because of that. Because in binary option, you have to trade every day. There is no swing trading. There is nothing. You just have to be always on the screen and placing trades. So that's why I decided to quit binary option. I just wanted financial freedom. I wanted to have time by myself where I'll be able to relax and enjoy life, man. I, I can't trade everything. So those are the challenges that I, I, I face. And sometimes I have to to force trades because people are complaining because there is no trade this week, this month and stuff. Because there were very, very bad trades on August. And at some point I felt like we should actually take a, a break for, 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 for a week but as soon as you, you come with that suggestion and people start complaining and saying uh, no man we cannot take a break what is happening why the group is quiet but people are seeing that I'm actually literally posting stuff educational stuff like explaining stuff explaining everything so those are the hardest thing that I, I really face sometimes I feel like closing the group and just focus on my personal account but I'm so passionate about this, you know, so I just have to like deal with it, deal with this kind of criticism and complain and all those stuff. People forcing you to trade every day, people forcing you to make trade that you don't see. You see, this month was very, very bad. <coughs> this month was very bad because I've saw, I literally saw that the, I, I, I told everybody when we started this month that this month is bad things are just going west you know 
So this was gonna be hard for me to actually post one setup per month because people will start complaining and some people would actually feel like what they paid for was wasn't worth it and stuff. So you are forced to actually sit on the screen, watch the screen and look for trades where there's no trade and when you know that trades are not going very well. You know, so these are the kind of things that made me decide to quit buying option. So guys, let's just meditate and just take a walk at the beach and start to just listen to the amazing, amazing, amazing sound of the ocean. You know, it's very nice. It's very nice. So this is where, you know, whenever I'm having a, a, my darkest thoughts, when I'm, when I'm at my lowest point ever, this is where I just, I just relax, man. I take a walk here and just think about stuff, you know? So I think about stuff and I know a lot of people, a lot of people have their own way of actually running away from sorrow and stuff. Some use uh, bruises and stuff. Some, there's a, there's a lot of way people escape uh, their, their darkest, darkest moments. So this is what, what helps me as a forest trader. I've done this, I've been, I've been drinking whenever I'm feeling down. I've been doing some daily stuff, but this is what I do right now. So this is where I relax, I take a walk alone and just think about stuff. Because honestly speaking, the forest markets is a very stressful career, guys. It is very stressful, and I don't want to lie. It's not as glamorous as they show it on social media. Uh, it's not as fun, you know. It's not always blue numbers, they are red numbers as well. So this is where I relax, I take my walk, you know, I, whenever I'm feeling like giving up and stuff. You know, cause I'm also human as well. I'm not a super human as much as I'm a good trader, but I also feel like, you know, I ask myself, is this meant for me? You know, sometimes I feel like I'm not making any progress. Sometimes I feel like this is, this, if I just quit this or just focus on bosses or just get a job, you know probably get a job and just live like any other human being and just go to work and get paid by the end of the month you know I'll be living a stress-free stress life but having these dreams and having these goals uh, they are the one that really push me that makes me different as a human being you know that makes me different than a lot of people that I grew up with you know times like these are times where character is actually felt so if you want to have a good character, you have to keep going, guys. You have to keep the momentum going, regardless. I think I've learned that from the past few years. Whenever things were not going well for me, I will just stop doing uh, what I'm doing because of things are not going well. So right now, I'm just keeping the momentum going. Even things were not going well for me. When I'm losing trades, when I'm losing this, when I'm being cancelled, I'm just keep going because that's the key to success. You gotta keep going. You gotta keep growing. You gotta keep going and growing as well. You know, because that's where you're gonna see progress. Just imagine if I continue having the same the same pace that I had when I started my YouTube channel uh, in 2019. Because I just had a YouTube channel and then I lost my grandmother and then I was feeling down, not feeling like creating content. And then I took uh, almost a two year gap, just doing nothing. And then imagine if I kept the momentum going, how many subscribers would I have, where my channel will be. You know, so this is just a typical example of showing you and telling you that you have to keep going because that's where the progress is. That's where you gain progress if you just keep going regardless of how you feel that time you have to keep going you have to keep pushing you have to keep going that's the key to success the key to everything to to be successful in life you have to be consistent with whatever you do you know no there's no hidden talent talent is, is it can help you but if you are not consistent if you are not consistent with what you do you are not going to be successful or be an, or be an expert so i regret times when i look back at all my hustle and then looking back at all my career i sometimes regret that if i was if i continue uh became consistent regardless of how i felt uh some of you guys probably just broke up have a, a break up on a relationship some of you guys just blowing accounts right now some of you guys 
some of you guys are feeling sad uh, for because of some family reasons some of you guys feel like this year wasn't for you so the thing is you just have to keep going keep the same pace keep the same enthusiasm when you've lost money trust me that's when you're gonna see success that's where success is that's where you're gonna see progress so i'm gonna keep going regardless if people uh if people cancel me if people doubt me even if when i'm feeling sad i'm gonna continue working hard and follow my dream because i found uh the key to success is not being smart or is not being fast but it's to be consistent it's just to keep the momentum keep the ball rolling man 